the book of Psalms, Tehillim, chapter 33. Rejoice in Adonai, you righteous. Praise is well suited to the upright. Give thanks to Adonai with the lyre. Sing praises to him with a ten-stringed harp. Sing to him a new song. Make music at your best among shouts of joy. For the word of Adonai is true, and all his work is trustworthy. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the grace of Adonai. By the word of Adonai the heavens were made, and their whole host by a breath from his mouth. He collects the sea waters together in a heap. He puts the deeps in, a, in storehouses. Let all the earth fear Adonai. Let all living in the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and there it was. He commanded, and there it stood. Adonai brings to nothing the plans of nations. He foils the plans of the peoples. But the counsel of Adonai stands forever. His heart's plans are for all generations. How blessed is the nation whose God is Adonai, the people he chose as his heritage. Adonai looks out from heaven. He sees every human being. From the place where he lives, he watches everyone living on earth. He who fashioned the hearts of them all and understands all they do. A king is not saved by the size of his army, a strong man not delivered by his strength, great strength. To rely on a horse for safety is vain, nor does its great power assure escape. But Adonai's eyes watch over those who fear him, over those who wait for his grace, to rescue them from death and keep them alive in famine. We are waiting for Adonai. He is our help and shield. For in him our hearts rejoice, because we trust in his holy name. May your mercy, Adonai, be over us, because we put our hope in you. End of Psalm 33